Hello everybody and welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. We have another field to harvest. I don't know if we're going to be doing it today. What I'd like to do is complete a few more quests because we do need to have the baler for this crop here. And uh, What date are we on? The 4th of August. We're doing okay. Uh, basically we have the rest of the summer to harvest one field unless we buy another field. Most of the fields are actually pretty big um, but it would be very interesting just to see the price of, well, this one down here, for example, or, that's pretty big, yeah, this one here. How much would that cost, and where on earth is it? <laughs> where is it from here? Uh, over here. Because, I don't know, apparently, as I've said before, if you harvest both of these fields, you can then afford another field, you then harvest the crop from the other field, and buy another field, so it's like a chain reaction sort of a thing. But, I don't know, it might have been adjusted so you can't do this anymore. There are many uh, patches and stuff coming out for the game, plus many upcoming features. For example, very soon there is going to be the ability to pick up mushrooms and different things from the wildlife for food or to sell. This one is... hang on, wait, what's that say? 3,000. Yes, that's right. So we can buy it. Or 1,500 or so yeah, it's the comma. <laughs> it's very confusing. Um, yeah, 1500 up thereabouts, plus social points. So we could buy this, but I prefer to pay the full amount just because the social points are useful for other people liking you, basically. So we've bought a field. There we go. It doesn't have crops in, but we'll likely buy another field once we've harvested this field, a field with crops in. That's the idea. Which is the job where you get a baler? Just see. Hay wagon, fertilizer spreader, manure spreader, that's a church. Um, <laughs> let me just see. I'm sure I had it, maybe, I ha yeah. We're gonna have to finish one of these jobs first. I think we'll go over here. Yeah, we'll do that, for that farm there. We'll see what Frank wants. That's a nice stream. Very nice stream. Most of the fields on this map actually aren't that big, so it actually should be very easy to be able to afford most of them. Looking at it, most of the fields have been harvested anyway. Just the time of year, I suppose. But if we can get some crops in for next year, or maybe plant them in the spring, then that would be fantastic, because it does have a calendar, obviously. We're in August at the moment. Uh, we can skip the winter if we'd like to, and then we can come back in the spring just keep skipping weeks. Very simple to do. Everything which is growing in the greenhouse, technically, should keep growing because it won't be too cold in there. Somebody else's field. I reckon these fields have only just been harvested because they were fully grown before. If we did want to buy them, we've missed out. It's the town. I haven't really been able to appreciate the town before because I haven't really driven around here. I was just jumping jobs before, and in fact, I don't even know if this was here in the beta version, I'm not too sure. But uh, yes, it is there now. A very busy place by the look of it. Um, in fact, if we were to go into the town, we might bump into a few people who we could meet and get to know. Here is the job for Frank, this is for an old manure spreader. We obviously don't need the manure spreader at the moment, but it's just a good way of progressing through the quests and gaining the equipment once again. The good thing is, it doesn't take half as long now to do each quest, so we can do a few. I would say he wants to have two barns repaired, looking at it. We'll jump off the track. Where's he gone? Where's he got Frank, there you are. Yes, need anything? Frank sounds interesting. Looking for a job. Actually I could use that manure spreader over there. Interested? Know anything about construction? Repairs? Sure. I'm quite skilled. Good to hear. All right, uh, I'm in between travels, and these buildings need a lot of work. Fix them for me, and the spreader's yours. Sounds easy. We'll get that done. Sounds fair. Will do. Right, 50 social points for doing that. That was easy. F1. Let's get our tools out. First of all, the trowel. Let's get these bricks patched up. These walls patched up, I should say. With bricks. Nail gun. 
Love using the nail gun. Very satisfying. A wall. Oh yes, we do swap between our tools very often. I would say pretty much every pillar needs to be done because it's a very important part of the structure. As somebody said, it's a wonder the entire town didn't just collapse before we got here. We've had to repair everything. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. At least we're not short of work. Except we do get paid in machinery, but that is probably worth more than the job itself. So it's not a bad way of being paid. Because you can sell them again, I think. Or at least... No, you... I don't know. You can sell the strimmer. It's 400 and something euros. I don't know about the equipment. Yeah, maybe. But if you haven't checked the update page on Steam, they call it the roadmap, um, that will tell you exactly what's going to be implemented into the game over the next month. And it's quite a good read. A lot of different things are going to be put in. I'm looking forward to steering wheel support. That will be very good. Obviously, all the different features are going to be a huge improvement to the game. But one thing which I think has possibly even surprised some people is that the developers are keen to keep the game up to date, um, keep it upgraded, new features being added, because I know that before it came out some people thought it's going to be one of those games, isn't it, where it just gets abandoned. But I would say even from the start, um, they've, been, they've been very good, fixing different things which are faulty with the game, patching stuff up, adding new updates. Whereas companies, I'm not going to mention any companies, but companies which create a game which I think even they know has failed, they just give up straight away. So, yeah, I think it is uh, still a game with a lot of potential. Definitely worth keeping up to date with it. Hang on, wait. There we go. This wall here. There's many things to do. I'm just trying to get through it as quickly as possible. Okay, um, this one here. A cow stall, I think it is. Oh yes, one shot from the nail gun and it's fixed. If only life was so easy, it would be brilliant. I should think the roof needs to be repaired. And I've possibly missed something as well in the previous building because it didn't flash up and say, update. They're more detailed too. These buildings are definitely more detailed than they were before. There we go, this one here. And finally, I'll possibly round this side. Oh no, onto the roof. Get a bit of scaffolding up. There we go. Ah, next stage. I can hear the train. There it is, the train. I think also, possibly, I, I can't say this for sure, but I think I read something about um, the possibility of having Steam, the Steam Workshop um, available for this game, so creator-made content could be shared. As I say, I don't know if that can be confirmed, but I did mention some. It could have just been someone's recommendation or something. I will have to check before I can confirm that, but even if it isn't possible, maybe in the future, it would be very good. Okay, we're virtually done here. What have I missed? I've missed one here. It wasn't too bad, really, that one. Uh, ah, all this too. It's full of holes. <laughs> Might as well do a proper job. Okay. And finally, this one. And hopefully, it will now say either update or completed. Or maybe I've still missed something. I have. It's very easy to miss something. I'm pretty sure I've missed something in the other building too. Yes, it says fix another building. Oh no, wait. There are three buildings. There's three buildings in total, but it is pointing to this one. It is... Aha! Yes, I have missed something. 
That's this side done. No doubt the same problem the other side. Yes, it is. Over there. Technically, we should be able to get onto the roof. I'm pretty sure there was a wall damage too. Whoa! Complete rebuild. Yeah, so if I can put scaffolding up in here maybe, if it will let me. Nope. Out here. Uh, it's going to have to be here. So if we get onto the roof, then we should be able to drop back down onto the lean-to. There we go. I don't even know how I missed this before. But it's done now. Fix the last building. Another building. Okay, this one is going to be done entirely off screen. So now you see it full of holes. And now you see it repaired. Return to Frank for your reward. Good as new. Good. Looks solid. All right. Take the spreader. Thank you, Frank. Sure. Thanks. There it is. It's going to come in handy. Not at the moment, because we don't have the cows yet. But as soon as we do, then, yeah, it's going to be very useful. The cow prices have just been updated, actually. They're cheaper. They're now 500 euros instead of 1,000. So... Possibly, very soon, we will be able to buy some. Where should I go? Let me just open the map. We'll set the marker to here. We'll take it home, put it in a shed, if we want to. It'd be a bit smelly, I suppose, but... Um, good grief, that was close up. Hello. Good afternoon. It's a businessman. Um, we don't actually want any work, so... I Let's just ask anyway. Work. Got anything for me? No, not at the moment. It's probably a good thing because we didn't really want to. You look like Janet, Care but you're not. Talk? Good afternoon. Um. Yeah, nothing really to say here. Thanks. See you we will continue back to our farm. Off we go. Well, there's many people. How many? It's a gathering. Promises, promises. So many people here. All the workers. So. Yep. Okay, well, we don't really have anything to say, so we'll move away. But good work, everybody. Are my eyes deceiving me, or have I just seen a different combine harvester in the store? I'm pretty sure I saw something which looks very similar to a class Lexian. Probably not... Branded as a class, though. I've got to go and see this. Maybe it was just my eyes. Uh, no, no, there is something there. There is definitely something. There is another combine harvester. Yeah, I would say that is based off Alexian. Brilliant. You see, the thing is, I know there's no branding in the game, but surely if there were mods, Steam Workshop, then somebody could just brand them because it's not like they're selling the product I don't know exactly but that's what's happened with Steam that is actually pretty nice it's definitely Alexian definitely how much is it and what's it called what do they call it a grain combine makes sense um, 150 horsepower yeah it's quite expensive though but at least there is another combine harvester we can have I've got to say, though, that is actually a really well-modelled Lexian. It's perfect. Like a 580 or something. Lexian 580. Just a different colour. So if only they had the licensing, they could make it so realistic. But I suppose, because it's a new game and all that, they probably don't have the money available for licensing. But who knows? Maybe one day. Well, our farm does look much better now from this angle. It used to be a ruin. It is possible, I think, to make it even better, but it does mean buying materials for that, and we don't really need to. I think we probably will do it one day. Again, it's a it's a, it's a feature they're going to put in later, I think, very soon. Buying materials and stuff. So where should we put this? It's the, it's the only implement that we shouldn't really have inside, due to the whiff. Ah, the dung pile. 
It can live with the dung. Perfect. That's probably... Yeah, that is where you refill it, I think. So we'll leave it there. We have a new tool. Um, I'm just going to save the game. And a new job might have appeared. Okay, so there's the hay wagon or the fertilizer spreader. I think we'll just go and drive past the church because we get a thousand social points for that and social points are very useful. We don't have to do anything, we just drive there. And while we're going that way, we'll go to the other machinery dealership to see if anything else has appeared there as well. Any other new equipment. Whoever's farm that is, is in ruins. No doubt we'll be repairing it one day. Every single building is just falling apart and single-handedly we are actually repairing everything. We're a very talented person, clearly. Right, there is the uh, the farm machinery sale point. They might have the Lexi in there too. No, I would say this is all the same, everything here. But that is good news that we have the larger combine harvester because harvesting all these fields with the small one would be a bit of a challenge. There is the church. All I did last time was just basically go up to it and it just said quest complete. Here we are. It's just a social thing to do. There we go. Um, we probably do have to get off the tractor. Uh, let me just see. There we go. Neighbour. We got an achievement. Uh, so yeah, that's a thousand social points. A very good boost for us. And that might free up another quest. No, I think we're just going to have to get these two done. So the next episode, we'll finish off these two. And possibly finish the harvest as well. How big is our field anyway? It's less than a hectare. 0 0.89. And that one is 0 0.79. And our new one is 0 0.62. So... They're getting smaller, but at least we're still gaining fields. If we were to put, which is the biggest field? Which is that's a big field, seven point five five hectares. That could well be the biggest, and I should think it's very expensive. I think also the exclamation marks are quests as well, possibly maybe people who have work for us. Um, so there's actually quite a bit that we could do. In fact, we're very close to that one there. Let's go and find out what's going on. Right, okay. Sam is the person with the uh, exclamation mark above his head. But he doesn't seem to say much. Hello. He just says, nice weather. Well, we can say, nice weather. It's a nice place. Or you don't look very well. You don't look so well. Are you all right? I'm perfectly fine. And then he says he's Thank fine. You. So I don't know exactly what the exclamation mark is for. I thought there were side quests, but maybe not. So nice weather. I think we might leave it there. It sure is for today. Um, Good luck. But yeah, we'll stay in the. We're actually stood inside his chicken wire. But yeah, we'll um, we'll leave it there and we'll stay in this area in case somebody posts a comment about what the exclamation mark is for. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.